channel. Today we're going to be doing the Battle of the Liquid Lipsticks High End Edition. A while back we did the Drugstore Edition and it was a really popular video and that was more like we included ColourPop even though it's not drugstore but it's like affordable. So these are kind of like not all like you can't buy them all up to four, but they're all like higher end, like yeah. middle above road. ten dollars. Above ten dollars, above like twelve dollars. Yeah. yeah. So our least favorite, we hate to say it, is the Jouer liquid lipsticks. The shades are so beautiful. The packaging is absolutely stunning. Like oh, they have this beautiful. little like lip here for no reason, but it like adds so much character to this. I just love the packaging. But in the shade, like I would wear this every day, but it is so drying. Yeah, and I this shade is brick, and that one's noisette. And noisette. And they're both so beautiful. But yeah, like I we have like I mean now I have like six of them. Yeah. And I thought like this one was better than this bright pink one that I had. But then I wore it again and it's so drying and like you can't layer it back on because no. it like flakes off. Ugh. It's really sad. It is sad because I love everything about it besides the formula. It's just not the best. So next up, number nine, so our second to least favorite, is Anastasia. And this might come as a shock to a lot of people. They get good reviews. They do. They get amazing reviews and people like rave about this formula. But I have... I only have one. I have one as well. We only have one, so maybe other shades are better, but the packaging again, beautiful. I really love this packaging. I think it's really simple. It's nice. um, the colors, like this is the shade Ashton, and Britta has trust, trust issues. issues. It's the prettiest shade yeah, ever. This shade is so stunning too. I actually like her shades more than like a lot of yeah. liquid lipsticks. Um, but the formula again is super drying. It like sucks the life out of your lips, and like. I, I don't even know but like why people think that these are moisturizing. Like it blows mm -hmm. my mind. We also think there's inconsistency because Carly's shade Ashton is a little bit more drying than my shade Trust yeah. Issues, which you wouldn't think because this one's so dark. Mm -hmm. So mine isn't as bad, but for a $20 price tag, you really shouldn't be getting anything inconsistent. Like when you buy a shade, you should know what it's gonna be like. So I think that's mm -hmm. why it's so low on our list too, is because it's expensive and yeah. you should be getting a great formula every time you buy a shade. So maybe there are some shades that are better, but it, that just shouldn't be the case. Yeah, and little tip if these are drying for you as well, which we know there has to be other people out there that feel the same way. I just put chapstick on before I apply this now and it does help. But again, you really shouldn't have to do that for the price because they're really pricey. Next up, so this is number eight, is Lime Crime. I think, what are these called? Velveteens? Yep. I want to say. The Velveteens. First of all, the packaging Such is a cute name. so cute. Everything cute Lime Crime does is so cute. Um, I have the shade Saddle. And I have the shade Cashmere. Yeah. And um, we actually do really enjoy these. They're super opaque and pigmented. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of different shades. I feel like they do kind of sell out fast. And since they only sell them on their website, it is kind of hard to get your hands on like the ones you really like. But the formula is actually really nice. It's yeah. not too drying at all. It's a very thin consistency. Like yeah. some people don't like that. But I like it because I feel like it goes on more even. And you can like not layer it up. But you can like go over twice and it's not gonna get like clumpy and gross. And the smell is good. Like it smells like a vanilla cupcake, yeah. but it's a tad overpowering. A little bit. Um, like it kind of reminds me of like vanilla vodka in yeah. college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's um a little overpowering, but overall like we really like this mm -hmm. formula. I think we need more colors to see like if the rest of the shade range. I, I am gonna good. say like, I would say eight and up, like we would repurchase. Yeah, <laughs> it's just there are so many that like yeah. we have to rank them somehow. I mean, to be honest, even Anastasia, I might buy another color, yeah. but yeah, we just have to rank these how we think that they are the best to least, so. Number seven is Ofra. They're called the Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. Again, they have a ton of shades, and we haven't tried Ofra for a long time, mm -hmm. um, but they're such a unique formula. Like, they're very creamy, and mm -hmm. they don't really dry down matte, so they're not transfer proof, but for us, that's not a deal breaker. Like, yeah. I would rather my lips feel like okay, nice. <laughs> alive, <laughs> alive and moisturized and have like some transfer when I'm eating than like have them so dry. And the shades are just beautiful and they've recently redid their packaging. So if you haven't bought one in a while. This is the old one, I think. No, this is the new one. Oh. I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or wait, these look different. I don't know. But <laughs> but now, I think they redid their packaging. And now it's like silver that used to be black. It's still kind of ugly though, to be honest. Yeah, to be honest, the packaging isn't it could use overwhelming. <laughs> but there's like 
everyone has a 30% off code for these, so yeah. they end up being really affordable. And yeah, they're very creamy, very opaque. You can easily reapply. They don't get like patchy, and yeah, they're transfer proof. So they're not transfer proof. So if you don't like that, maybe stay, stay away from away. this one. But we really like it. Next up is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Mats. I would put these higher on the list if Carly would let me, but she won't let me, so I won't. it's okay. Um, I have the shade Invasion, and this one is Iced Mocha. Um, first of all, I think Gerard has one of the best shade selection. Like, all of their shades are stunning. Like, whenever I wear this, um, I mean, I just get so many compliments on it, and even that one, too. So, I think that their shade is great. The packaging's nice, and there is also a coupon code almost always. Sometimes these go as low as $10. So, it's a really good deal, and I really like the formula. I think they're very opaque and pigmented. They're long-wearing, and there is some transfer, but they're comfortable. Kind of like the Ofra ones. Yeah, so I would... That's why I love them so much, and the, shade, the shades are just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So... I personally don't really have any complaints, but I know Carly does. I do. So, my main complaint is like, yeah, they're comfortable like the Ofra ones, but for some reason, like, Ofra is super creamy, and you almost feel like when you rub your lips together, you're like, oh, super creamy, like, almost like a lipstick, but these are sticky to me. Like, they're tacky. They don't, like, obviously, like, yeah, it doesn't bother me that much, but it, like, literally sticks together when you, like, go like that, and I don't really like that. Britta really likes it. But I don't think they're sticky. <laughs> yeah, but I also have like five of these, and I think she only has one. I have two. So maybe they're inconsistent. I again. mean, difference of opinions. And also, I had some trouble with an order once, and my bank like had to call me and tell, like, ask why I was ordering from this company because they, they like flight them. It was really weird. So that's like a side note as to one of the qualms about them. Yeah. But the formula is pretty good. Berta really likes it. Yeah, and the colors. The colors are pretty. The so shades pretty. are pretty. We're halfway through the list. Number five is the Sephora lip stains. I think they're, they're the called? cream lip stains. Cream lip stains. These are out of all of these on our list. These are so underrated. Underrated, but like they have like a cult following. Though. Like <laughs> when you meet someone that knows about the Sephora cream lip stains, it's like an instant bond. You're like, oh, the Sephora cream lip stains. Like I love those too. Like, everyone that loves them really loves so them. good. First of all, I will say the packaging could use some improvement. I think it's a little outdated. Underwhelming. I hate to hate on Sephora. It's shade um, selection, absolutely shade terrible. Shade selection, so bad. I think we only have three. I have, this one is Blackberry Sorbet. It, I, I don't even, I can't even read it anymore. I just know that's what it's called. No, no, no. They, that's another problem. They only number them on the tube, so you don't know the shade name. Oh, uh, well, I know this is Blackberry. <laughs> yeah. And this one is 01, but it's always red. Um, and then we both have Marvelous Mauve, which is like 13. It's beautiful, yeah. And then I have this watermelon one, which I don't even really like. But like, again, the shade selection is so poor. So and bad. They have zero nudes. Yeah. We've been saying for years we want them to come out with more because the formula is so good. Let's it's talk about so the formula good. because we haven't really. Uh, they're kind of similar to the Ofra. They're very creamy, but they dry more matte. Like, mm -hmm. they're definitely transfer proof and like... I, I did wear this recently and it felt a little more dry than I remembered, but I think that's honestly because I've had it for a while. Yeah. And it's dried out a little bit, but like they're very moussey. They're a definite mm -hmm. moussey texture. They're not super thin like some liquid lipsticks, which the thin ones tend to be the ones that really dry out your lips. They're moussey, they're super okay, they dry down, they don't transfer. Like Because they're moussey, they're you can't layer them too. Like my mm -hmm. complaint is the ones that aren't transfer proof and they come off your that, lips. Yeah. And then you want to be able to put them back on your lips. And some of them are so drying that you can't. It gets patchy and weird and crumbly. Like these are fine. If it yeah. comes off your lips, you can easily put another layer yeah. on it keep on going. And I actually like the applicator, which sounds weird, but I like that it's small because you can like really get in the crevices of your lips. This is really similar to the Kat Von D applicator, which yeah, we will talk about next. <laughs> but yeah, I really like have nothing bad to say besides like, please give us more shades. Like, <laughs> please some more please. please. Oh, price. They're only like $14. Yeah, it's like the cheap. cheapest one on our list. Number four is Kat Von D. And overall, our favorite shades come from Kat Von D. Our all-time yes. favorite shade is Bow and Arrow, and it's like our all-time favorite liquid lipstick because of the shade. This one's Lolita, which also is a beautiful shade. I think I have like two others. I don't know. They're stunning. Packaging, packaging is stunning. Packaging is amazing. Like I love the thin tube. I think Me it too. looks so much more sleek and like high-end kind of. And the applicator, like we mentioned, the Sephora has a small one. This one's a little bigger, actually, I think. Or no, maybe it's no, the same. No, it's like the same. And Longer. this one's, yeah, and it's a little more slanted. But I really like the applicator. Like, it looks boring, but I like how it's small. So you can, like, really line your lips and, like, kind of go slow. And you don't, like, have to worry about getting it everywhere. Um, and they use 
These are a tad drying, I will say. A tad. Berta thinks they're really dry, and like this is another one of our discrepancies. Where I we don't honestly, really agree. I hate the formula. I, I, I wear like it the formula. almost every day because this bow and arrow shade is the perfect nude, and I've never found a lipstick that looks as good on me as this does. So I still wear it, and I like power through the dryness. But I think it's so dry. And Jaclyn Hill actually put Lolita in her Ride or Die makeup tag video, but she also said she hates the formula. And if she didn't say she hated it, I'm pretty sure she strongly dislikes it. And if they just changed the formula, I would literally buy every shade they have because the shades are so pretty and pigmented. But I think they're so dry. I don't think they're dry. And another thing I, I really like is they are transfer proof. So, like, they yeah. kind of clean your lips. But sometimes when you, like, eat oily foods, you know, obviously, like, it'll come off, like, in the inner part. And these apply, reapply really well. They do. They don't, like, crumble or streak or look weird. So, I really love that. And they're super opaque. They're super long lasting. Like mm -hmm. if you don't eat oily foods, this will last your entire day, really. And I love the formula. Britta doesn't really like it, but it's a good one. And I'm sure you will all agree with me instead of her. I still wear it all the time. <laughs> Next up, so this is number three, is Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick. This is one of my favorite packaging. Yeah, I love it too. It's so cute and it's so unique. I love their little logo and the, pack, the fact that they put the white caps on and it just looks very sleek and nice. Um, also, great applicator. The Dofa applicator is a little bigger, but um, because of how slanted it is, it's very easy to like line your lips. This is actually really funny. This is the same exact packaging Jeffree Star has. I think it is. I work in the makeup industry, and this is totally standard packaging. <laughs> And they just both customized it because you'll see Jeffree Star next. But the applicator and the packaging. But it looks it's really same. nice. Yeah, this it's is um, beautiful. Chocolate wasted, and that is truffle. Mm -hmm. um, these, I mean, I don't really have any complaints. The smell is fine. It's like a little vanilla y, but not super overpowering. Yeah, the smell is really good. It's, it's one of my favorite scents out of all of these. Yeah, and they're super opaque. They're very long lasting. They're not really drying. They have beautiful shades. Beautiful shades. I will say they do sell out yeah. like that. I think on that's their my biggest issue with them. Like, yeah. I've wanted Desert Suede forever. Now it's back in stock, but I'm like salty towards it because it was sold out forever. And it's just disappointing when you can't like get the products you really yeah. want. Like, I feel like when I see like a video like this, where I see like oh I love that shade so much I want to go order it right now and then you can't order it for like two months I think that's a little bit ridiculous like they should just up their quantities because mm -hmm. people love them and they are also I think $20 which is a lot when you pay shipping like I feel yeah. like I have no issue going to Sephora and getting like a Kat Von D liquid lipstick for $20 but then when you have to pay $6 shipping it becomes an expensive liquid lipstick it does and they aren't sold anywhere in store and my whole thing is like if you're only sold online like at least do like two dollar shipping. Yeah. People's only means to getting your product is through your website. So like to charge like six dollars for shipping is just a little ridiculous. Yeah. But we love the actual product. Yeah. It's so good. It's not drying at all. And this one lasts a really long time for like how comfortable it is. Yeah. It's actually out of all of them. Oh, maybe not all of them. Oh, not our number one. But I want to say that the top three that we're going to talk about, none of them accentuate fine lines. Yes. And I would say the rest of them kind of the do. The rest of them do. We've gotten a lot more lines in our lips since we've gotten older. And yeah, I would say like, yeah, seven through, or wait, four through ten all accentuate our fine lines. But three, two, and one do not. They're real good. Number two comes probably no surprise since we just kind of mentioned it is Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. Again, the packaging is so cute. I love so the cute. packaging. I love that he is coming in with the red caps for the holidays, and the Dofa applicator is amazing. And this formula is thinner than the Dose of Colors formula. Yeah, I'd say Dose of Colors is a little more moussey, but I kind of like Jeffree's better. I mean, obviously it's number two. <laughs> yeah. um, because it is thinner and um, it just glides on so much easy, mm -hmm. it's easier, and it looks so opaque in like one swipe. I, yeah, I feel like you could do your whole lips in one. Yeah, like one. you could just take out this and like use this for your whole lips. You won't have to like go back in and reapply. And it's just, I mean, his shade selection is so stunning. And he actually does sell his products at the Morphe store in Burbank. So I know that's like only one store in the whole country. But for us, like we could go and buy them and not have to pay shipping. And on Black Friday, he mentioned he's doing free shipping yeah, at his which website. Is great. That's which awesome. is so nice because they are $20, $18. So they're mm -hmm. a little bit less than the Dose of Colors. And I just really don't have anything bad to say about it except for the scent. Yeah, like we mentioned. Now is so, if you watched our November favorites, which will probably be out before this, the smell oh is God. so bad. <laughs> 
Like, oh it my smells God. like cat pee, honestly. It's, it smells <laughs> just like cat pee. Just like cat pee. Oh my God, did I get it on my nose? More things we like about this formula, the applicator is really flopped, so it's really fluffy and like holds a lot of product and yeah. super soft on your lips. And the applicator, I'm gonna try to show you, but it might not work. You do. But it, <laughs> it bends like really easy, so like it like moves with your lips when you're like pressing it in. And I really like that. Like a lot of, most of them are static. Yeah, I never noticed that. I don't oh know. yeah, I notice it. Most of the applicators are like very static, but this one bends, and I like that. And this is such a small thing. The dose of colors one is just like this too, but when you put it in, I wish it you locks. could hear this. It locks, so it doesn't dry out at all. Yeah, it's a, it's great. We okay. love this. And our number one liquid lipstick that we love more than any other liquid lipstick is the Smashbox liquid lipstick. What is the actual name of these? Always on liquid lipstick. Yeah, they're fairly new. But yeah. they stole our hearts from day one. Mm -hmm. This formula is like incredible. So good. Incredible. It's so expensive. <laughs> For how much you get? Like how honestly, much do you get. You get. Uh, I, they don't even tell you because they didn't want you I to looked know. it up though and it's $24 for like literally, I want to say like half the amount you get in like all these other ones. I mean, it's like not a rip off because it's so good, but it's pricey. It's definitely pricey. Yeah, I only have like, two. Honestly, so worth it. Let's talk about the applicator first. Okay. This one is unlike anything you've ever seen before. It's almost like a teardrop, I would describe it as. Yeah, it's pointed. It's a pointed applicator. Okay, it's a teardrop. It's a pointed applicator and it has a, oh, what is that called? Like a, oh my God. Well, it's a hollow inside. There's a name for it. I'm blinking right now. But it holds the product inside there. So like when you're applying, it like takes it out from the middle and like you don't have to dip it back in. Yeah. So kind of like with Jeffree Star, you could just take one and probably do your whole lip. Yep. You can do your whole lips and it's just, ugh. The applicator is perfect. Packaging is so nice. Packaging is locks. so nice because it's so tiny. And the formula, so the formula is more on the moussey side. It's mm -hmm. not as thin as Jeffree Star, not as thin as Gerard. Mm, more like Dose of Colors. More, more like Dose of Colors. It's moussey, it's super opaque, it's creamy. It does not dry out your lips at all, but no. it lasts all day. Like, even when you eat oily food, I find, somehow, like a little bit stays on, so it doesn't look patchy. Like it wears better than all the other ones. Like the wear is so beautiful. It just wears down evenly and nice. Yeah. And it's just like the best. Okay, I have one complaint. Oh, let's hear it. The stopper, that's this little plastic thing that goes in the cap to stop the product from coming out, is complete, I don't want to swear, but it's crap. It's terrible. Like. If you look at mine, you probably can't tell, but look at all that product that's like in the cap area. Oh, so yeah. the stopper is meant, I know this from working for a makeup company, but the stopper is meant to keep the product inside and so you just like obviously, it stops the product from getting all in the cap and then you like have it on your applicator. But their stopper is so, so, so bad. And which makes it worse because this product is already so expensive and then yeah. you get all this product just wasted and dried up in your, in your little stopper area. So that's like very, very unfortunate. But I think that's something they'll improve. Because we I think so they're too. so new that obviously they have improvements. To yeah. Make. And the colors are beautiful, but they also, I think I heard that they're going to release more. They need some more. I have True Grit, which is like a really deep brown, and it's so beautiful. But besides that, there's none that I really love besides stepping out in True Grit. I want Out Loud, which I'm going to get soon, but this is stepping out, and yeah. it's the best one. So they have a lot of bold shades, which I feel like is very Smashbox of them, mm -hmm. but I, I need them to be a little more Kat Von D and come out with shades yeah. that look good on everyone. But we think they will. And overall, this formula is just like everything you want in a liquid lipstick. Like, there's so beautiful. Besides the stopper. Please fix the stopper. But besides that, it's perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching our Battle of the Liquid Lipsticks video. We hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And comment below what your favorite liquid lipstick is because we'd love to know.